I grew up in Vegas. It's a very weird place. Bars don't close. It's this weird sense of just day and night don't really exist. I was obsessed with music. It can't be stressed enough what a big deal MTV was. And like if you saw videos and could describe videos at the schoolyard to people. Back to back, I saw Ragdoll by Aerosmith. Didn't know what was going on. This dude who looked 100 to me at that point. He's probably younger than I am now. And then the next video was black and white. 30 seconds to get it going, a band rehearsing. It's Sweet Child of Mine. And I, for some reason, I've never felt more alive. And I still get chills thinking about it at times. So Guns N' Roses and Aerosmith became like an obsession of mine. And that whole summer, and then I realized they were touring together. And then I never looked back. This one guy befriended me. He was like, hey man, you should play bass in my band. I ended up getting a bass and then I played for years. I thought I'd just be a musician. My buddy TJ got out of the military and his dad was hardcore about it. He was like, yo man, Past 10 o'clock, don't come home. So he would just, he crashed with me a lot. And I was still living with my grandparents. And we would rent horror movies and a Carlin when we'd have sleepovers. And then T's like, I'm going to be a comedian. And then within three months, I'm just going to T how to play. And then he was going to be in our band, but we broke up. Months later, I'm doing, I'm at an open mics doing stand up. And he's now pretty proficient on guitar. We were influenced by comedy. And then now, now it's flip where I'm a, I'm a, comic who's like influenced a lot by like music and other stuff. New York Comedy Club was doing their first brunch show at this restaurant. I'm talking to Scott. I just on a whim, I had an idea. What do you know about mashups? So, uh, you know, I could probably do one. Dude, let's take a tool track and put my tracks together. It's like, wow. It's like, you want to do that? I'm like, yeah. It's like, Amelia and I have been talking, we have this idea and we've already mentioned you, but now we know it's perfect where we're going to have a band create a song on your jokes. I go, Come on, buddy, is this the best? And we're eating lobster. I mean, this is what it's about. Most clubs do not have the capacity to do what we do in terms of all this stuff, the engineering and the audio. An owner does not do what Scott does. You know, you have to usually hire someone to do that and they're not gonna love it the way he does. Let's combine what he does in the studio with what we do at the comedy club. We, we have pinch recording, we have the comedy club, we do these albums. All comics wanna be rock stars and all rock stars wanna be comics. There's so many different ways that people are trying to add layers to a joke. They're taking a joke and they're turning it into like a video, where they're trying to take a, a, a person's joke in or a comic's joke and turn it into a cartoon. But no one's really turned it into a song. And when James Mattern did his album with us last October, he was the very first comic to do his album at our new East Village location. He spoke of his influences being the Beastie Boys and, and a lot of different in the Ramones. And he, he kind of drew this parallel between his comedy and music. And then it kind of dawned on me at that point, like, hey, like we should be doing stuff with music and comedy and almost like have like that joke turned into a song. So I have a peanut allergy and it's a weird, look, it's not fun. And I know, essentially, millennials, you guys get blamed for having allergies. If we knew our destiny, how boring is life and how terrible. So I really don't know what's gonna happen. And I really didn't know what to expect with this. As it got closer, I got more of like, I really don't know what we're going to do, whatever. But I went in there embracing like, let's just see. Everyone my age and older always screams. Back in my day, we never had food outages. Well, guess what? I'm from back in your day, baby. 1978. And I have a peanut allergy. The fan just started jamming, and I just started doing jokes, riffs. It was cool, because it was like I was jamming with a band again. Doctor never seen it before. My family brought me to the hospital. Redder than a lobster. Came to the side of coleslaw and butter. Doctor was like, i would never seen this before. Maybe you got an alien. We took a, like a, a like a coffee break or something. We came back and they there was a joke they particularly liked or like I think Emilio and Scott said go back to that and then the band started grooving on it and then they started coming up with hooks to it and it felt like something.
is a bitch. I just found this out on accident the other day. They don't give you a last meal on death row anymore. They used to, when they put you in the chair, would give you a last meal. I found this out because I said this old saying. I was like, I'm so hungry, I'm eating like I'm going to the chair. And then I found out they don't even do that anymore. Wild, man. Like, I don't know, I don't expect to ever go to death row. But if I do, and they get We didn't really mess around much. I think we did, like, one, one like, jam on it, man. Like, one rehearsal. And then I'm in a boot. I won't give the government the satisfaction, baby, in taking me out. Oh, baby. I'm the ad lived a lot, and I felt free, because I know we can. It's just a handful of us in a room, and it's just getting recorded, and we're only going to put out what we think's the best. So it's like I could take chances with something that I already knew. I could play looser with it. It was kind of cool with it. It's like, all right, I don't know what the punches is, but now I can add stuff. That was the freedom I always wanted, man, when I was in the band. So this felt like a nice middle ground where I could absolutely go places. 22C! Ain't no bitch. Thank you. All right, I'm going to bring up another wonderful act. We're going to be getting going soon. Do you want to listen to it right now? I don't know about that.